Hello there, Whipper here, and welcome back to another GTA 5 mod showcase. Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you a mod which adds drag events into the game at different locations around the map, and they occur at different times of the day. And if you want to see where there's a drag event currently going on, you can open up the map and you need to look for a green icon with a dollar sign in the center. And I can't currently find one of these on the map. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah, I know where it'll be. It'll be down in North Yankton, um, which is off the map and you have to like teleport to it. Uh, but yeah, you can see there's the icon and that's what you're looking for. But there are also drag events at the airport and you can find them up here at the wind farm. And there's also one down in the docks. And there are loads of other locations around the map where you can find them as well. But we're going to start off by heading to North Yankton and checking out the drag meet over there. So here we are guys in North Yankton, and the drag meet is going on way down there, so let's just run over there and see what's going on. Now you're going to find loads of different modified cars which are going to be driven by the AI. You can get the AI racing other AI, it's pretty cool. And you can also take part in the drag races yourself, so you can bring your car along and race against the other cars at the meet. And there's also a betting system and stuff like that which is really cool. And look at that woman, what are you doing? There's, she's like parked her car on the drag strip. And now she's getting in. Hopefully she's going to move out of the way. Uh, is she? Oh, uh, really? She's got out of the car and she's parked it even more in the way. I'm going to have to move it for her because that is just not acceptable. That's going to ruin every single drag race. Let's just park it terribly. Uh, but you can see this is what the drag meet looks like. There's not actually too many cars that have shown up for this one, but it is a relatively small event. But if we run down here, you should see that a drag race is about to begin. You've got a girl that's going to be firing a flare to signal the start of the race. And at the other end, there is a barrel, which signifies the end of the drag strip. But let's just wait for this one to start and see who's going to win. Looks like the gauntlet's going to lose this one. Uh, what's the other car? I can't, I can't recognize it. I don't know what it's called. Is that the Casco or something? It might be a Casco. I'm not too sure about that one. But who won? It should, like, broadcast the winner of the race. Uh, there it is. Yes, it is the Casco. Oh, look, it's telling me that it's now my turn to go to the starting line. It's probably because I got in this car earlier and therefore it thinks this is the car I intended to race and someone's challenged me. Uh, but I'll just give you an example now of how this whole drag system works and hopefully this car isn't too slow. Uh, but yeah, let's just head to the start line. So you can see down there there's a yellow arrow and that's where I've got to park my car up. So let's do a little quick handbrake turn here. Very nice. And then line our car up just below that arrow. Now, if you park your car up a little bit too far forwards, it will give you a message saying, uh, please back up, you're trying to cheat or something like that, uh, and it won't start the race until you back up. So yeah, that, that's like an anti-cheat system. But now we're just waiting for that AI driver to turn his car around. And that's actually pretty impressive for an AI driver. Normally they just like drive straight into the building and then get stuck in the snow. Uh, but now he's lining up next to us and we can start this race. Just got to wait for the flare and there's a guy on the drag strip. That is really dangerous, but come on. There goes the flare. And my reaction time, you can see the reaction time is just above the minimap. And it doesn't really matter because that guy is so much quicker than me. That car is just a rocket in comparison to this thing. Oh dear, that was just a terrible drag race. I didn't pick my car, so naturally that was not going to go well. But yeah, I think what I need to do now is get a better car. And hopefully then start winning some drag races. And I'll show you how you can actually challenge another driver at the meet. So let's get out and replace our car with something a little bit quicker. So here we are. This is the car I've gone with. It's a lovely Subaru Impreza STI. Brilliant car. So let's get in and we're going to challenge that Kuruma over there. So to do this, all you have to do is drive up to the opponent you want to challenge and then press E. So we're going to challenge that Kuruma and now we just have to wait for our race to start. While we wait, we may as well watch this race that's about to start. It seems to be the Gauntlet versus the Casco again. So obviously the Casco is going to win, like it did last time. Race has started, we've got a lovely camera angle here, and predictably, the Gauntlet just got completely owned. Oh, looks like it's our turn to head to the starting line. One thing I haven't thought of though is that the Kuruma might be upgraded like performance upgrades, and we haven't applied any performance upgrades to our car, so we may actually lose this drag race. Uh, but now we just have to wait for the painfully slow AI driver to get to the start line. Oh, they're doing a U-turn. Why did you go that way? Doing off-roading. Why didn't you just go the other way? Oh, I don't understand these AI drivers. Let's see where he stops. I'm going to move up a bit. <laughs> I don't want him to get an advantage. Right, here we go. We're lined up. Come on, fire the flare. Yes, there we go. And I think the Kuruma got a better reaction time. And I can't 
Okay. Oh, in fact, it's pulling away from me. Yeah, I definitely needed to upgrade my car. I think that car has upgrades. Uh, so we we lost that one again. And I lost $200. Yeah, that's one thing I didn't mention. You actually get money for winning and you lose money for losing. Uh, so there are actually stakes involved in these drag races. They're not just for fun. Uh, but let's try that again. I'm going to upgrade this car now. And then we're going to re-challenge the Kuruma and hopefully beat it the next time. Because that was a bit embarrassing. Right guys, so I've now max upgraded my car. So hopefully we should be able to beat this guy this time. Providing we get a good reaction time. Here he comes. Is he going to stop ahead of me again? Might have to creep up a bit. Yeah, there we go. Now, it's all about the reaction time. I really need to nail it, otherwise I'm going to lose. There we go. No! <laughs> I was too slow. Look at that. I got a red reaction time. It's telling me I'm terrible. But I am gaining on the Kuruma. Look at that. I'm creeping up next to him. Oh, it was too little too late. He got the race. Damn it. And again, I lose money. And what the hell was that dude doing? He didn't apply enough brakes at the end and just like flew off into the field. Oh, dear. Okay, we're going to read do this one last time. Let's challenge him again. There we go. And this time we're going to beat him. We're going to get a good launch, a uh, good fast reaction time, and we're going to beat the guy. Let's just watch this drag race though before it's our turn. I really like this view though from the car, just like watching the drag race unfold in front of you. Looks great. And that time the gauntlet actually won. Don't know what it was against, but yeah. So here we are, lining up on the start line for the rematch, rematch, rematch. I don't know how many rematches it's been, uh, but we can finally nail the um, reaction time, hopefully, and beat this guy. Oh, we've started. Okay, he's got a better reaction time, uh, but come on. We're gaining, we're gaining, we're past him. We're definitely past him now. Come on, get to the barrel first. Oh yeah, we definitely beat that guy. <laughs> finally, it took long enough. So yeah, guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to find a drag meet at a different location. And I'm going to show you how crazy some of the locations are, because this is very tame compared to some of them. So the next drag meet location is here on the map, and it is of course the wind farm. And I had to show you guys this one, because it's just insane. Whoever thought it was a good idea to race cars <laughs> in a drag strip that looks like this is just, is just ridiculous. So we've got some cars showing up here. This is where the drag meet takes place. Some people are walking around. None of these cars really look very good for off-roading, apart from that one there. Uh, but I'll show you the course. So the starting line is there, just behind the wind turbine. We've got a train going past. Uh, but this is the course. And you don't follow the road, you just like drive straight over those massive drops. And the finishing line is there where the barrel is. <laughs> but if I just like turn around and look up, look at those drops. They're huge drops. And let's see if we've got a race going on now. I think there was one about to start. Yep, there we go. We have got a race about to begin. Looks like the Sultan RS has the better start here, but you would think that the um, off-road vehicle has the um, advantage here. And it's catching up now. Overtake. Yes, look at that. It's probably going to win it now. No, no, it's lost it. Oh, and it just threw it away right at the end. It just They should have just thrown it into reverse and reversed across the finish line. But yeah, so that's the insane course. You're literally driving off cliffs. So just before I compete in this event myself to see how ludicrous it is, I wanted to show you the betting system which I forgot to show you earlier. So what this means is you can actually bet on one of the drivers and you can get money if they win. So to do this you just walk up to the car you want to bet on, press E, Thanks. like so, and you can see it costs $200. And hopefully this woman wins in a Glendale, I think it's called. I don't know. I think that's what the car's called. Yeah, it is. And hopefully she's going to win this. Let's just watch them as they go down. Oh. She's taking the lead. Come on, come on, you can do it. Yes, this is looking good. Almost there now. Don't throw it away. No. <laughs> Why did she have to roll it just before the finish line? There's still a chance. Oh, that other driver was such a douche. <laughs> that was like a pit maneuver. So the car I've decided to drive for this event is this lovely a 86 here. And the cool thing about it is it has pop-up headlights. Like so. Looks so cute. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're going to be driving. I'm not sure if it's the best car. But let's go over here and try and challenge one of these drivers. I think we'd go for the Dominator. Maybe we might be able to beat it. I'm not sure. But let's go up to this guy and challenge him. Okay, I've now been called to the starting line. And for some reason it put my pop-up headlights down. Which is very sad. I think what it does is it repairs your car before the start of the race. Which is pretty neat. Oh, there we go. We've got the flare. Oh, look at my reaction time. That was terrible. <laughs> and now we've lost control of the car. No, bring it around. No, no, we've rolled it. <laughs> this is not going well at all. Come on, come on. Our car's battered and bruised, but we can still win this. Terrible takeoff and the Dominators won. And we crossed the finish line in style backwards. 
Oh well, okay. We didn't realistically have a chance against the Dominator to begin with. Kind of drove terribly, but you know, it was a decent race. And this event is just ludicrous. Whoever came up with this idea, just what the hell were you thinking? So yeah, the last drag meet location I wanted to show you is here at the airport. It's down the other end, so we're just going to drive down there now. And what's special about this one is it's the biggest one in the mod. So I think up to 30 cars can show up. And we're going to be driving this lovely Phoenix here. And I've also gone ahead and installed the Burnout Wheelie mod, which pretty much enables you to do wheelies when you do a burnout before starting off in your car. It's really cool. And we're just turning up to the event now, and you can see there's loads of cars here, much more than the other events. And look at that, one of the AI drivers just crashed into another car. But what we're going to do is we're going to challenge a driver, and then check out this Burnout Wheelie mod. There we go, looks like it's our turn to go to the starting line, and as you can see I've challenged a Buccaneer, another American muscle car, and oh, I was trying to look really cool there by drifting up to the starting line, but it didn't really pay off. Couldn't keep control of the car, it's just got way too much power. Uh, so let's just try and get into position here. Don't want to jump the start or um, go too far forwards. And there's our opponent slowly making their way to the starting line. The AI are really slow in this mod. They take forever to get to the starting line. You just have to sit there waiting, building up the anticipation for the awesome wheelie you're about to see. Uh, so the way this mod works is, if you do a burnout for a longer than two seconds before you start your car, well, start moving, you do a wheelie, as you're about to see here. Come on, Flair. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that awesome? You do a huge wheelie off the start line, and oh my god, we're still going, this wheelie! <laughs> oh no, we touched the ground. I was wondering if we could actually prolong that the whole way, and never put our front wheels on the ground, but sadly not. And hang on a minute, the other guy hasn't even crossed the line yet. He's just crossed it now, there we go. Oh my god. I think it gives you a really big speed boost, that's the only explanation I can think of, because we just completely owned that guy, and the Phoenix is not normally this quick in the game. That was just incredible. So yeah guys, next up I wanted to show you what it looks like to do a wheelie while you're in first person mode. And I'm imagining all we're going to get is a lovely view of the sky where, as we do the wheelie and we're not going to be able to see the um, runaway at all. But here we go, waiting for the flare. Come on. Yes, we've got the flare! And wow, my reaction time was good there. So as you can see, all we can see is the sky right now. I think I might swap into cinematic mode. It looks really cool, doesn't it? And cross the finish line and break. Come on, stop car, stop. No, I'm going to roll it. Oh, straight into a post. Smashed my car up really badly there, didn't I? Oh dear. Hang on a minute. Why is it said that he won? The Stallions won? What are you on about? I clearly crossed the finish line first. I wonder if it's because I was like in the air as I crossed the finish line. Or maybe I was going backwards. I think I did like go into a drift across the finish line. I don't know why it gave him the victory. That's really unfair. But yeah. What I want to do now though is I'm going to do one more run, but I'm going to show you the wheelie from cinematic mode at the start, because it just looks so badass. So here we are guys, at the start line, just going to swap into cinematic mode as soon as I see the flare. Oh my god, doesn't that look so cool though? <laughs> oh, I love this wheelie mod, it's great fun. And it works on any car in the game, uh, no matter what it is, you can do a wheelie, uh, but I thought American muscle cars suit wheelies the best. But there we go, clear victory there. <laughs> Just completely owning everyone I'm drag racing against in this car. I think it definitely does give you a speed boost. But yeah guys, that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you for this mod. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you next mod showcase.